Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Commands with Dragon. This episode we are going to be working on our More Creatures module. So I'm organizing this module into four rows. The first one is for spawning. Each of these command blocks represents a different mob you can spawn. And then we have our next row, which is all the custom items you can get. Our next row, which is the general mechanics. And then our last row, which is just extra things that require a 20 hertz clock. So for our spawning, all right, for the wool, we'll go over the wool. So above each command block is a colored wool. So white is the foundation, lime is the ogre, red is the mage, and black is the vampire. So the way we are going to do this is using the stats command, actually. So the way it works at the moment, let's just power all of this and we'll place down some zombies. Now we're going to place down 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And after 15, we have this guy. A vampire has spawned. So the way I've done this, I've added an objective which is called entity count and it's a dummy. And then we are going to set the player's score to entity count to zero so the commands actually work. And then after that, we are going to go stats entity us set success count us entity count. So that means every time something successful happens, it will get saved in my score entity count on the side. So I will show you what success count actually means. That's how many times you're successful. So let's place down some zombies. Let's place down two. And we're going to go test for at a typical zombie. All right, and you can see it says two. Let's do it again, and you, as you can see, it says three. And so what it's actually doing, it's counting how many times I have been successful with a particular command. All right, so let's look at this string of command blocks. So we are going to execute from a random player, so it only has to execute from one person, and it's going to test for if there are unchecked zombies within a radius of 64, All right? And then it's going to store that number into the entity count slot on the side. And if a player is found with an entity count above 15, so there are more than 15 zombies, then this command block is going to run because it's a conditional repeating command block that's always active. Right, so then we move over and we have one of the requirements for a mob to spawn. So we're executing from a random player and then we're going to find a random zombie that isn't checked within a radius of 64 but not too close to the player because we don't want these guys spawning just in front of you and it's going to detect glass grass below it and if all of those conditions are met then it's going to turn it into an ogre same thing for the mage, the vampire, the blight and so on and then the last one just makes every zombie in the world checked after that and then it will set your entity count to zero so I am going to split up this series a lot, and by a lot I mean a lot. So the reason why I'm going to do that is so I can answer everyone's questions in time. Every episode is going to be a different mob. We're going to finish one mob every single episode, so hopefully by episode, let's say 10 or so, this module will be complete and ready to go. So also, I'd just love to hear you guys' suggestions, And but for now, thanks everyone for watching this very quick episode, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.